Lock and load. Let's kill some flies. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to your host, LJP Tech. You know, one of the trouble of having a hot weather is that not only you sweat and feel miserable, but it also breeds a lot of flies, those disgusting flies that you don't know how many excrements they've gone through and they fly into your living room and trying to dip into the precious food that you're trying to have. And that's why I decided to buy the Bubble Salt 3.0. I had the option of getting the Revolvo, but they actually had a um, gas cylinder that you need to buy, which I don't think that will last that long. While as this one, not only actually has a lock in and lock out system with the air pressure, I also bought a MNS uh, table salt that is only worth 30 pence. So if I fill this up, technically I could have 70 times of shooting. So we almost have an infinite, very cheap solution to destroy flies because I hate touching flies. I don't want to squash any flies because of all the mess they created when you squ squeeze them. This is why I want to use the bug of salt. But not only that, we got an addi additional um, adapter kit here that is called the bug beam so this is for the laser pointer as well so we're going to find out but immediately what i can see is that there's this allen key that you have to adapt on the top and bottom and the left and right so we'll get into those details as well so enough said let's get into the unpackaging and adaptation and so on so here it goes this tape here needs to come out i just love that sticker by the way that's really nice why don't we just tear it up doesn't really have anything else other than so that needs to be cut let's cut that and for adults only for the pest hunter no licensing no limit i love that so this is the actual gun itself really nice good quality plastic i have to say the american feel of it and um good weight and I just love it. Immediately, I just hold it, feel like, yes, I'm going to get along with it. Now, you might think this is all childish and so on, but they put a lot of warning sign here. It says, use eye protection while operating. Okay, so that's the warning. So they warn you, so make sure as an adult, you look after yourself. Okay, so the way how it works is that you, okay, you do that. And then you'll see this popping up saying that it's ready to be shoot. This is basically a safe lock. Um, and um, if you want to shoot it, if you're ready, you just press that. So it goes this way. And then if you're ready to shoot, just shoot. And then as soon as you shoot, that disappears. And that's rather loud sound, by the way. And I just love this sticker. That's very cool. Now I haven't got any salt on, so I've been told by many people on YouTube that it really hurts with the salt, but let's try out the pressure of the air without the salt, shall we? So yeah oh gosh that is powerful indeed so i don't think many people talk about this bug beam adapter kit so let's go through the stages one by one shall we oh look at that see so if you press that button the battery is already included okay so that will pretty much show you um, how to set it up okay so the way how you do it again is by adjusting it with uh, these on here and on there okay Woo. i hope that doesn't damage the um actual camera lens but that's the laser pointer okay so this comes with three of the standard uh, lr44 batteries okay so you will know this if you have kids who needs a automated book that needs to be read instead of you reading it so you just put them i believe on this way and then on the lid side you make sure the switch is actually there and then you just roll it in, people, roll it in. Okay, so if you turn it on, yay. So we got the laser pointer um, pointing it on the desk, okay? So then what you need to do is put it into your Bug Assault version 3.0 gun there. So that's pretty fixed, but to make sure it's stable, you just need to screw it in on this way 
so that it is tightly secured. Uh, the aim is almost to the central but slightly down, okay? What I need to do is use the Allen key to adjust that. I see, so okay, that's moving it to the central pretty much. Now I gotta use the bottom one as well. Laser pointer coming up on a horizon, that's very good. Right, so I don't know whether you can see, but I'm pretty happy with the way how the laser pointer is based that on the aimer and take off the seal. So that's where you put all your salt, okay? So let's pour it in as much as we can. Let's just put it more. I like to be generous, you know? I think that's about it. And it's all good to go. All right, so to see how accurate the laser pointer is, I have actually put in four uh, cross marks on a teared up envelope. So let's get on with the test, shall we? Put the laser on. And then let's aim for this one first, okay? Oh dear, it's not strong enough to penetrate the actual paper, but I, I, I could actually see that going through. Yep, that was very accurate. Okay, so I put some water in hoping that it will actually absorb the whole shot. So let's try the first one. Okay, it didn't. Okay, let's try the wettest part on the second on the right hand side. Oh dear, that was a bit below, wasn't it? Okay, let's try another one. Okay. So I'm not sure whether it got it right, but it ended up tearing on here. Um, but I have to say that's pretty good enough to kill um, an aim onto the fly, isn't it? So yeah, hopefully that'll be it. Yeah, it's actually a bit below the aiming, isn't it? So I got to actually make it a bit higher. So that sort of proves where I am at the laser dot. So what more can I say but lock and load, let's kill some flies. So I actually shoot this about three meters away and it's fallen down. It can't actually recover, but I'm just going to finish it off, okay? We've got another one shot here, about two meters away, and I'm just going to finish off once more. Goodbye, fly. The question will be, how do you get rid of these dirty, excrementing-loving flies in a very clean way? I guess we have to use some tissue. So it was a perfectly sunny afternoon where my mother actually cooked us a really nice lunch. So we were expecting dozens of flies to turn up, but in the end, I think it was only 12 flies that turned up, which I killed literally all of them with this uh, Bugasol 3.0. And that's the thing, your mindset really changes from uh, flies to be a excrementing, loving, germ spreading, dirty being to a fun target and you really look forward to every single one of them to turn up uh, in your house and uh, that's exactly how my mindset was and I was really looking forward to kill every single one of them uh, full of excitement and so on. So both of my parents who are over 70s looked at me with a great awe and cautiously asked whether they can also have one as well. So my kind reply to them was mom and dad um, you can have this for free after I actually reviewed this product, this unit itself. So they're very excited indeed. So uh, regards to cocking this unit itself, um, I saw that my father, even my father and my mother, both of them struggled initially to uh, cock it. But once you get used to it, especially my father find it very easy, but my mother is still struggling because 
probably she's too old. I'm, I'm not sure, but she's a strong lady. Anyhow, so that's something for all people you need to be aware of. Um, regards to the actual uh, laser pointer, it works. Um, many of you might suspect that if you actually point the laser pointer to the fly, it will immediately fly away, but it doesn't. Um, I've been doing a lot of this sort of tricks for years and laser pointer don't really tend to scare away your target and so on, especially when it comes to bugs, right? Um, and dogs and actually other animals really love to follow those around anyway. So the laser pointer, you need a few adjustments you have to be very careful with. Now I actually use the table salt which um, I believe that you can actually put some rock salt to add a bit more strength on it. Um, this one, I actually also sh shot on those uh, ants that flies, especially it's the mating season. It doesn't kill. And I've actually seen few reviews already, but I think this is perfectly designed for killing flies only. For the rest of the bugs, um, you have to expect that it's not going to work on your first shot. Um, but my father also tried um, shooting a fly. He also enjoyed it. So I'm actually posting a clip showing you how he actually went on his first shooting mode and so on. So overall, I'm really, really liking this product. It's very impressive. No wonder why so many people are showing interest. A lot of people around me ask, they want to see my review as soon as possible. So here it is. So I hope you enjoyed my review regards to this Bug Assault 3.0. But if you have any queries, further queries regards to this, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.